Dino Dad's Garage. Woo! So today, um, I actually wanted to do just a small video of a new helmet setup I'm gonna do. Um, not so much a new helmet <clears throat> per se, but uh, just a new intercom system. Um, been listening to the Fast Life Garage uh, podcast quite a bit lately. Uh, it's a good time killer. A lot of wicked information um, just about, you know, Harleys in general, paint, uh, the Bagger Racing League, just a lot of cool things going into uh, to Harley in general, V-Twins, the M8s, everything going on with that. Um, and, you know, he's interviewing a lot of cool people. And so, yeah, it's a good, it's a good podcast. You guys should listen to it. But before I get too off track... Um, Going off of the uh, Fast Life podcast, I snagged myself a new Lexan G16 uh, intercom head unit. So I was at the uh, Bell Bash in San Diego, um, happened to show up or happened to be going on while I was down there for my birthday down by Pacific Beach. So swung by the Lexan booth, shout out to those guys. Uh, they were able to kind of answer all my questions, get me situated and got me dialed in on the unit that I needed that would fit my needs. Um, which was probably the loudest speaker setup, um, the clearest uh, audio quality, and then just to be able to have um, 16 riders on a single um, Bluetooth like interface system. You know, I don't ride with 16 people, but I do have a friend group that we ride pretty often with at least six or seven of us. So we needed something that was going to be able to do that. Um, and I already have three other friends on the G16 system. Um, they did go to the I think the FT4 Pro or something like that. But that was a mistake of another member in the group. Um, and we don't let him make uh, any executive decisions anymore. <coughs> Kenny. But um, we are back doing the G16. Um, I'm going to be taking off my Cardo um, Pack Talk Slim. I've had that for about two years. It comes with JBL speakers. It's a solid head unit system. But I just uh, I wanted to give the Lexan a try. You know, I like the simplicity of the buttons. And I've just heard nothing but good things about it. Uh, so yeah, today I'm just gonna be doing an overview on how to basically install it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So don't expect a lot of video coverage because obviously every helmet's gonna be different. But most helmets should have pockets for speakers, for the wiring to follow. And then this actually, one of the strongest mounts that I've read about is the 3M that just goes right on the side. G16 slips in. And the nice thing is it comes off as well um, because it unplugs. So here's your two, or here's your mic setup. Your two speakers, one for left and right, obviously. And here's the unit itself. And the nice thing that I like about this is you can detach it from the speaker system, uh, which is really cool because then you can take it off the helmet and charge it. Uh, you know, you can toss it in your bags or whatever, hook it up to the charger while you're still riding, not have to worry about a cable sitting in your helmet while you're cruising down the freeway or whatever. So it's kind of cool. Toss it in the bag, charge it up. And then you can slap it right back on and plug it in and back to your music, back to communicating with your friends. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, that's the simplicity of it. I'll go over a couple of the things, you know, that says on the box. Um, but from what I know, you can link up to 16 riders. Uh, you can do music sharing. The nice thing is, is it does have a light. It's not on, so. Do I know how to work this thing yet? No, I don't. I'll figure it out. Anyway, um, yeah, and then, oh, it, go, it has 1.4 miles of intercom range, so that's pretty tight. But, uh, oh, and that was the other thing, too, is it has 15 hours of battery life. I know the Pack Talk Slim, um, I was getting quite a bit. I think I was getting, like, eight hours, give or take, um, and then having to go charge. But that's the cool thing. Um, it does go 15 hours, and I've heard statements that it does. Um, it also has a quick charge um, set up as well, so that's nice. Uh, but, yeah, so we're just going to get that installed, guys, and then I'll show you a... Uh, before and after. Um, this is the before, obviously, with the Cardo Pack Talk Slim. Here's the unit itself. The battery is stored back here, and that's the unit, you know? It's nice, it works. The audio is crisp and clear. It's definitely loud, but I want it louder, and that's what the G16 is hopefully gonna give me. So uh, we'll get that situated and set up in the helmet, and then I'll, you know, do another video later on down the road, a uh, video, um, giving my review. So let's get it going. So one of the first steps is you're going to remove your liner. I'm actually gonna remove the old system. It just clips in and out. And then uh, I'll pull the liner out and I'll show you guys what we're looking at with the uh, helmet in a bare bones state.
All right, so here's the kind of helmet down to the bare bones. Uh, I got the left speaker in, got the right speaker in. Also got the microphone placed in there. Uh, just kind of do some pre-wire routing. Um, I did wrap that wire up and around that back headband. Same with that speaker wire as well. Um, making sure to leave a small tail out for the unit itself. And then I will do the uh, microphone wires probably last when I put that last uh, pad back in. But kind of just getting it roughed up right now. All right, guys, so we got it all mounted up. I went through a few of the different mounting options um, just to make sure to find out what will best fit me. They have two 3M mounts. Here's one of them. It gives it a little contour for the shape of the helmet, which is nice. They have another one, which is straight. It's just flat, also nice. They have their clamp system, which I tried to use. Um, it grips super tight. It's just I didn't like having this gap on the bottom of the helmet. So I didn't opt for that one. So I opted for the one that slides in and then you can mount it with the two Allen wrenches or Allen key, Allen bolts, wow. So it's pretty snug in there, as you can see. Like, I mean, there's that gap, but that's just the contour, but that's a whole grip pad there. And then it's got a full grip pad on that um, L bracket that rolls inside the helmet. So everything's kind of wired up, tucked in. Um, you know, got my mic there and then obviously my speaker in there and the other speaker in there. So that's what it looks like on the helmet for the bell. Um, I would definitely recommend using this mount if you have a bell star helmet. Uh, that's just me though. It seems like the most secure and I'm going to get this thing fired up and get a link to my phone. So that's what we got going for this.